Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and I have something to say about, um, how God felt this morning. Well, how he felt was he wanted to end this world uh, full of sin. He nearly gave up on us and, um, wanted to take us out uh, with a rapture. And what do I mean by that? Well, Jesus wanted to basically bring us up and have him covered by us and um, also get rid of the world of sin and all that stuff. He was very sad. He was very sad and angry and all that. He was just having the most miserable feelings that you can ever imagine. Just, you know, lip curling, anger, sadness, things like that. And the unfortunate thing is, well, he's he's getting close to the point of every Saturday, of course. Um, he gets reminded of a church in America that isn't so good. And every Saturday he gets reminded, you know, it's it's these people are sinning completely, and even in churches. Like I said in the last video, it's like, you know, the church, the Mystery Babylon is a gay church. It wasn't the Catholic church that was a full of idols. No, it was the gay church that was full of um, abominations, um, pride. Not to mention it was considered, um, well, the prostitute, the things like that. You know, Mystery Babylon gives the cup of fornications, you know, things like that, you know, it's it's really um, simple as you, when you think about it. So, whenever he's reminded, he's like, okay, when do I, when do I end all of this? He's really getting, uh, like, really impatient right now. He wants to end all of this. So I very much implement you right now to, all, all you have to do is really accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, to be saved forever, to go to heaven to make it more happy, and all that stuff. Because the comfort that you, the comforting thing you can do is really talk to him, accept him as your Lord and Savior, and all that. Sadly though, um, I don't think he's going to be comforted for a little while. Maybe he'd rather just, you know, leave himself be and not talk to anyone. Maybe he's just not answering anyone's in prayers in America that are just full of abominations, you know? If anything, he wants to be alone, just to cry. And it sounds sad, but really it's just, you know, a dream within a dream, I guess. I don't know, like vision, I don't know. But you know, Jesus really is crying a lot, more than you can imagine. And, um, well, come to the point of the world's probably, probably going to end very soon and who knows when the next time we have well fellowship with him it's going to be too late you know because maybe next Saturday maybe next and maybe tomorrow maybe the next week sometime that's where he says all right I've, I've quit um, dealing with these people and he's going to wrap the people up and basically have pure wrath on these people. Because he's quit, he's quit crying right now. You know, he's quit crying. He doesn't want to cry anymore. These people are abandoning him, abandoning him. These people are abandoning him and basically, instead of having him, they're just rejecting the, Jesus and they're rejecting all of the, thing, the things he wants them to wish. He's, they're, they're rejecting all of the things that he's wishing for them him to do. He's basically saying that these people are rejecting him because they'd rather be gay or think, think, you know, think, things like that. The church itself is rejecting him, not the true church, but the church in America is rejecting Jesus and his philosophies and all that. They say, oh, you, the Jesus that we're talking about is gay. He's not really gay. He's actually the complete opposite. He wants people to be straight and he wants people to understand that he's for them and not against them, but people keep saying, oh, it's, it's, we'd rather be gay than be with Jesus. That's what they're saying right now. 
And that's just half the churches. Maybe the government will literally, you know, say, all right, it's time for <clears throat> all of America's churches to be gay. And it's like, that reminds God of how close we are to him losing it and actually going his full wrath against the, the earth. Just remember that um, the rapture is very soon. I can feel it, you know. <laughs> In my dream, they're saying I, I, I almost quit that time. He almost quit this day, and he would have promised me to get a job, but he promised other people other things too, and you know. Just to promise that, and just to rapture us up. <clears throat> he says, I cannot promise everything for certain people, because, well, the rapture is happening. Just remember that, okay? He's not mad at you. He's just very sad that people are sinning. And he's really mad at sin, so what's the deal with that? Well, he's got to deal with that. And some of you are not going to be part of it. But if you're ever left behind, choose to be with Jesus. Because if you don't choose Jesus, then full wrath in hell is going to be happening to you. Alright? Alright, I'll be done, okay?